everyone, I'm Janine with the Palos Heights Public Library. And as we begin to wrap up this year of 2021, the Palos Heights Library staff and myself would like to first of all, thank you for your support of the library throughout this year and always. And secondly, we want to share with you what our favorite book of the, that we've read this year. So then you get to walk away with a whole new reading list for 2022. And you also walk away with our wishes for a very happy new year. So my favorite book that I read this year is This is Happiness by Niall Williams. Uh, he's, a, he's an Irish author and uh, this takes us, he takes us to this remote rural village in Ireland called Faha, just uh, as it's about to change with the uh, introduction of electricity. Finally, they're the last little village in Ireland to get electricity in 1950s, 1950s Ireland. So the author uses his um, eye for detail and his incredible lyrical language to talk about the triumphs, the failures, the traditions, the paradoxes, the joys, the loves, and this incredible cast of characters. Uh, this book was also uh, named Best Book of the Year by Washington Post as well. And everybody's calling it, it's a funny book, it's profound, it's heartwarming, it's a, it's, it's a book that definitely makes you smile. And I know I've read a great book when I am still thinking of the characters months after I've read this book. I've actually read this book twice this year because it's just that kind of a book. So my favorite book is This is Happiness. My favorite book of 2021, actually, is This is Happiness by Niall Williams. Um, so put that on your reading list. Tell me if, what you thought about it. And I want to wish all of you a happy new year. Hi, my name is Tina Ruzala and I am the head of the Youth and Teen Services Department. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites is The Ivies by Alexa Doan. The story takes place at an elite boarding school where five friends known as the Ivies make a pact. They decide that none of them are going to compete against each other for a spot at the same Ivy League school. Throughout their high school career, these five friends have sabotaged their fellow classmates to make themselves seem more desirable to these schools. They are sure that their plan has worked until three of the friends apply to Harvard. Two of the friends get in and shortly after one of them is murdered. Throughout the book, these friends learn about the great lengths that they will go to to get into the college of their choice. For fans of mysteries, this page turner will have you sitting at the edge of your seat. Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm head of circulation here at the library. One of my favorite books this year was a nonfiction book, Travel Hacks. I like to travel. This has given me a lot of good tips and I wanted to share a couple of them with you. Tip number one, when you're booking your flight, try to book six weeks in advance on a Tuesday because that's when they say it's the probably the most reasonable price you're gonna get for your flight. Tip number two, take a picture of your luggage before you leave, just in case that unfortunate event happens and your luggage goes missing. It might make it a little easier for them to locate it. Tip number three is my own personal suggestion. Bring a Ziploc bag with you when you're staying at a hotel and put your remote inside of it. You can still press all the buttons. It just is a little less germy. I wish you the very best 2022. Come visit us at the library. Read Travel Hacks by Keith Bradford and Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Matt, one of the public services librarians here at the Palos Heights Public Library and one of my favorite books for 2021 was Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Now you may remember Andy Weir as the author of The Martian, so if you ever read that book or saw the movie starring Matt Damon, you kind of know what to expect. And this is his third book, and it is another uh, very accessible, fun, funny uh, science fiction adventure. So even if sci-fi isn't usually for you, uh, I urge you to give this one a shot. Uh, the Earth is imperiled. The sun starts to dim mysteriously. No one knows why. Uh, so humans have to send out uh, a Hail Mary into outer space to find out uh, what's going on and how they can stop it. Uh, it's a great book, moves fast, there's a lot of uh, very accessible science involved. So yeah, it's one of my favorites of the year. Happy New Year. 
I'm Lauren. My favorite book of 2021 has been Run by John Lewis. It is a graphic novel, and if you are familiar with his previous works of March, Volume 1, 2, and 3, this is the first edition of his Run graphic novel. And unfortunately, Congressman John Lewis did pass away before this book could be finally published but it is all his own words and it's wonderful. If you're looking for a nonfiction graphic novel, I highly recommend Run. Hi, my name is Beth Stevens, public services librarian at Palos Heights Library. And one of my favorite books this year was The Art of Inventing Hope, Intimate Conversations with Elie Wiesel by Howard Reich. Howard Reich is a former arts columnist for the Chicago Tribune whose parents were Holocaust survivors. Reich details uh, four years of conversations between him and Elie Wiesel and intertwines Reich's family history with that of Wiesel's. The book doesn't so much focus on the horrors of the Holocaust, but on the people and how they thrived and survived in spite of what they experienced. I think one of the most important points he makes is that of bearing witness and that everyone who listens to these stories becomes a witness and passes those stories on to future generations so that we never forget. Hi, my name's Carla. I'm a youth and teen services librarian here at Palos Heights Public Library. One of my favorite books I read this year was Fast Pitch written by Nick Stone. Shanice is a softball player. Softball is her whole life. She's the captain of the team and she loves it. Shanice learns that her grandfather almost played for the major league teams. However, he was accused of stealing a bat and was prohibited from joining. When she befriends her great uncle, he tells her that his brother was innocent and she helps, he helps her to solve the mystery. Unfortunately, her grandfather faced racism and she's determined to correct the wrongdoing that happened to him. I recommend this book for sports fans, people who like readers who like fam familial ties and a little bit of mystery. The other thing about this book that I like is it connects back to Nick Stone's other novel, Clean Getaway. I hope you enjoy this book and have a happy new year. My name is Christina, and I will be talking about The Last Green Valley by Mark Sullivan. It is a late World War II story based in Europe. It's based on a true story about Ukrainian refugees retreating from Stalin, and they had to begrudgingly follow the SS to Germany in the dying days of World War II. It follows one family and their dream for more freedom in America. Uh, it's a very informative narrative about a side of World War II some people may not have heard much about, uh, and it's a very inspiring story full of hope for this time of year. Again, it is The Last Green Valley by Mark Sullivan. Thank you and have a happy new year. Hi, I'm Jesse Blazik, the library's director, and I want to tell you a little bit about the best book that I read this year, Milkman by Anna Burns. This is a strange, dark, and charming book set in a very specific time and place with very detailed characters. None of the characters or places are ever named, yet you know exactly who and where and when they are. At its heart, this is the story of a woman known simply as Middle Sister, who is just trying to live her life in a world that refuses to leave her alone. She is besieged by politics, religion, family, love, and death. This is not a book for the faint of heart. Hers is a frightening and ludicrous and dangerous existence, but what makes this book hard to read is also its great strength. It immerses you in a world that's laid out so clearly and evocatively that names really do become superfluous. You step into the life of middle sister and want nothing more than just to be left alone, and I think that's a sentiment we can all relate to to some extent. So that's Milkman by Anna Burns. On behalf of the library staff, I want to wish you a safe and happy new year and thank you for your ongoing support.